In this fun animation video, we're going to talk about four amazing beginner techniques when it comes to doing cartoon-based animation. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So doing cartoon based type animation, whether it's for explainer videos or you wanna create YouTube content or it's just some sort of video that showcases a ton of information using you know, cartoon based characters. This video is going to condense a ton of information into four easy steps so you can get started with this type of animation. So whether you're just starting off with animation or if you have some experience with Adobe Illustrator and After Effects, we're gonna take a look at these two programs and how we can get started with cartoon based animation. All right, so in our first technique, we're gonna talk about setting up vector files ready for animation. Now you're probably saying, wait, uh, well, I'm not ready to set up my files. I don't have any files to work with. Well, this isn't a design tutorial on how to create your own you know, cartoon animations on itself because that's a really large tutorial. But the good news is, is that you can get started right now with free vector files. And pretty much this website called freepix.com has pretty much every type of vector that you would want for free. The only thing about using vectors on this site is that you have to give them credit because they are free. That makes sense. But essentially you can type in what you're looking for, whether it's people or a business setting or a cityscape. You can type it in, click on something that you're interested in and you can download it for absolutely free and you'll be able to open up that file inside of adobe illustrator it's going to be the illustrator ai file and when you have that loaded up inside of illustrator you'll have all the elements right here that are completely editable however we need to set this up for after effects so we can animate this because we can't animate it here in illustrator it has to be animated in after effects so in order to get this started we need to take a look at the layers menu so the layers menu should be here on the right if you don't see the layers menu you just go up to window layers and unfortunately every project file is going to be different from what you see here but i will link this one specifically in the description so you can follow along with this video now you'll see here that you know, we can hide each layer here and see what's by itself. Now, what we want to do is take the elements that we want to animate in After Effects and put it into this own unique layer. But first, let's clean this up. So we probably want to get rid of the actual logo here so we don't have that in our animation. So we can turn that off and we come here to the trash can icon and delete it. And you'll see the background separated, which is great. And if we want to select certain elements here, so let's say we want to animate this plant in After Effects. All we have to do is select it. Now, a bunch of things are going to get selected. So one thing we can do is maybe lock our background because you see that background is separated. And one thing we can do is maybe control click around our plant to isolate it. And then simply we can open up our objects window, go into the group here, and we can see that the plant is right here because the blue icon right here is selected. So what we can do is come here down here at the bottom, create new layer, bring this plant icon into our new layer here and we can rename this to plant. So now this is in its own individual layer so we can animate this separately inside of After Effects without any issues. Now this was an easy example to show you so let's do something a little bit more complicated. Let's just select someone's head here. So first thing you wanna notice if you click on an object, sometimes you get a bunch of objects grouped together. What we can do here is go to object and click on ungroup. And we deselect here and you know, you might need to ungroup a few times. So now every element here is going to be selected separately. So for example, I can come here and drag around our face here. So first we'll go ahead and create a new layer and we can call this uh, right head. And then we'll open up our objects and we'll see what paths and groups are selected. And we'll just shift click all these together and control click anything that's not you know connected and we'll just move this to our layer. So now we can see we can turn everything off here. However, it's overlapping for our computer, so we can put this layer underneath our main layer, and it's back to normal. Awesome. And one thing you might need to do is go through the vector and delete certain objects, so like these message tags, I don't want those. And essentially, that's how this works out. So for example, I can move forward here and group all these different elements together. So right in this layer, I have our shoe selected. I can turn that on and off in the layer icon, so I'm gonna be able to animate that separately. I have the other heads and I also have each of the lights up here separated so I can animate these separately inside of After Effects. And before we bring this over to After Effects, I want to make this into a video format because we're animating this for 1920 by 1080 like 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And how we can change this current resolution here, all we have to do is go up to Window and click on Artboards. And we can just double click this, you know, crop tool icon, you know, document icon right here in the corner. And here's the, you know, the height and width, we can set this up to 1920 by 1080. 
and click OK. And this will expand everything and simply we can grab everything here. Make sure the selection tool here in the left is selected and we'll just and we'll hold down Alt and Shift on our keyboard and click drag this to fill up the sides of the composition. And here it is. And I think that would be Command and Shift on a Mac. So when it's all said and done, we can go up to File, Save or Save As and make sure to save it as an Illustrator file. So now we have After Effects loaded up and in our second technique, we're going to talk about animating vector files. But first, we need to import our files. So we'll come over here and we'll import our saved Illustrator file, bring it right here into the project window instead of After Effects. That will import and it'll ask you how do you want to import it, footage or composition. I like to do composition and the dimensions should be layer size, click OK. And we can double click our composition here in the project window and bam, there is our composition right inside of After Effects. And as you can see, it's 1920 by 1080, just like we saved it inside of Illustrator. And now we can animate our vector files because now we have our layers right here, how we saved it exactly in Illustrator. And you see I can turn things off and boom, we can animate these objects individually. So there's a lot that we can do with this animation. So let's get right to work. So for example, maybe we can start off with our light animations here. So perhaps what we can do is select all three of these light layers, hit P on keyboard for position, and we can add a keyframe for these. We'll move the keyframes forward in time, and we'll just simply have these scale up above our composition. Select the last keyframes here and just hit F9 on our keyboard to make them easy, ease keyframes. So now we can preview here and you see those just drop down very easily you know maybe we want to just offset these in time by a little bit so they don't all come in at the same time so now we have this very simple animation with our lights and you see it's very easy to animate vector icons just with the basic transform properties but let's take this a step further let's grab our plant here and this time i actually would like this to kind of grow on so we can grab say like the pan behind tool here and you can see the anchor points right there and that means that's where the animation is going to revolve around so i want to take this anchor point and bring it to the bottom of the pot here and then go back to my selection tool, just hit S on keyboard for scale, and we'll add a keyframe for scale. Move it forward in time, and we set the scale down to 0%. And of course, let's make both these keyframes easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. So now this plant will just grow in like that. Nice. Perhaps we want to animate the shoe here. And as you can see, if I hit R on keyboard for rotation, I rotate this we could potentially mess up our animation. So what we'll do is grab the pan behind tool and put the anchor point right at the base of the leg here and instead of keyframing this animation because that can take a little bit of time if we want to have this you know wiggling throughout the entire thing let's just all click the stopwatch for rotation and let's just type in wiggle open parenthesis uh let's do like 0.5 comma 20 close parenthesis so it should look something like this click off of it so now we have this nice wiggle animation on our shoe and this will go across the entire composition so you don't have to add a single keyframe and you can update these numbers so the first number is all about how many wiggles per second and the second number is how intense so if you increase those numbers uh it will you know animate faster at a greater value so now we have a little bit of a basic animation here i even animated our hand here with the scale animation with the wiggle expression applied but we don't have a lot of animation going on here i like to animate our heads but in this case, I think we can move on to our third technique, which is animating with the puppet tool so we can create our own unique animation without having to dive deep into layering inside of Illustrator. So for example, I can grab one of our head layers here. I'll grab the one on the left. Simply, we can grab the puppet position tool here at the top. And there it is. And all we have to do is make sure at the beginning of our timeline, double click our you know composition here. And maybe what we can do here is click a point maybe down here. You know, add a point here, see how much control we have. You can see this kind of wiggle a little bit. We can maybe add a few more stationary points down here. And now we can kind of animate this by this pin. So we'll just make sure to keep it back where it was. Now we go back into our main composition. And you see that we have our points applied right here. And simply all we have to do is just hit U on keyboard to bring up the keyframes. You can see these already all have keyframes. And essentially, since I just want to do a very repetitive animation here, we'll just identify that you know pin and we see this puppet pin tool. We can all click that stopwatch and we'll do wiggle open parenthesis one comma ten close parenthesis. So now we have a little bit of animation on our head here very easily. And we could do this for our other head. And instead of maybe doing the wiggle expression, we can just animate this manually by selecting the point, moving over. You see down here it has a keyframe. I can move forward a little bit more and we can just move our head over. And that's simply how you can take a little extra control with the puppet pin tool. Completely up to you if you want to use that or not. In some scenarios, it looks great. 
In other scenarios, you might want to add more layering to it. And before we move on to our next technique, I want to give a huge shout out to Animation Composer, which has over 1,000 motion and presets, which will allow you to instantly preview and apply animation presets to any layer inside of After Effects, which will help you significantly save hours to even days of time when you're animating a ton of layers on a huge project. And this is an extension for After Effects that I've been using over a year now, and I can't say how much time it has saved me. And also the animations in this pack are also very incredible. And also what's great about Animation Composer, you have a lot of control over the animations, how long they run, and what they're gonna do for your scene. So if you wanna check out Animation Composer, I will drop that link in the description. And there's also a ton of other animation cartoon After Effects templates out there where you can simply download a After Effects project file with you know, cartoon based graphics in it and easily set up a scene and be done with your project within maybe 60 minutes instead of taking several weeks to work on your project. So if you're currently working on a big project and you would like to save some time, I will link in the description one of the best cartoon toolkits out there that will help you save time doing this type of animation. Okay, so in our fourth technique, I wanna talk about animating with shape layers. So the special thing about vector icons is that you're able to easily turn any of these into a shape layer inside of After Effects. So you can actually animate every element in here without having to go back to Illustrator. So let me show you what I mean. So I can click on our main layer, which is objects here. If I turn this off, you can see it's pretty much everything that we didn't separate. What we can do is right click this layer or any layer that you wanna animate, go to create and click on create shapes from vector layer. And boom, you're gonna have a shape layer right here instead of After Effects, it turns off the original layer. We can open this up, go into the contents and you can see we have a bunch of groups in here because you know we have a lot of elements, but we can start trying to identify what is what and i can see right here that this coffee cup right here in the middle of the table are these five groups that i have selected here so it takes a little bit of exploring if you have a lot of objects in there but what we can do is click on contents go to add and we'll add another group i know there's a lot of groups in here but simply we can just hit the tilde key which is the key underneath the escape button it's bring up our entire window here and we can grab those groups and we'll just bring that into our new group and we can rename this group to uh, coffee cup so now we can open up this layer and go to transform coffee, come here at the beginning of our timeline and simply make sure the layer is selected and grab the pan behind tool. And we can see that we have like a small anchor point right here in the middle of the composition. And with the pan behind tool selected, we can just select it and put it you know, in the center of our coffee cup. So now we can come here to scale at a keyframe for it and we can move, you know, move it forward in time and then set the scale down to 0%. So now with our shape layers inside of After Effects, we've been able to easily animate this coffee cup without any problem. And we can do that for every other layer in here if we want to do it. So it's really up to you how detailed you want to get and you have a lot of animation techniques. So as a bonus tip here, because this would be our fifth technique, I just want to add just a little bit overall animation to the entire scene to kind of draw us in. So there's a number of ways we can do this, but one way I'll do this is go to layer new null object and I'll grab all of our layers here and parent it to the null object. We'll move forward to the beginning of our timeline, grab our null object, and just hit S on our keyboard for scale. We'll add a keyframe for scale, and we'll move forward to say five seconds. We'll say that's the length of this composition, and we can scale inward. And if you want, we can also maybe bring up position hit by hitting P on our keyboard and I'll click it. And we can type in wiggle, open parenthesis, point, you know, one, comma, 20 close parenthesis and this will add like a little bit of camera shake it's completely up to you you can animate the position if you want and of course let's toggle switch the modes and make sure we turn on motion blur for all of our layers and turn it on the top and one last thing i would like to do is go up to layer new adjustment layer and go to effect noise and grain and add noise to this and set the noise up to maybe like five or you know four to six percent and uncheck use color noise and this will add just like a little bit of noise in there to kind of emulate video in a way but that's completely up to you i like that option and then when we're ready to go I'll show you what we got and when it's all said and done we should have an animation like this and you see it's very subtle and these are not you know over the top techniques nothing too difficult to do but the purpose of this tutorial was to help you get the ground running with some very basic concepts so you can start off with animating these cartoon based uh, animations. And also keep in mind that there's plenty of animation templates already ready to go on Video Hive. I'll link some of my favorite packs below and also there's a great animation preset kit that will help you save hours of time animating a ton of objects. So if you want to check those out, those links will be in the description. So those are my techniques to help you get the ground running when it comes to cartoon based animation. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple tutorials every single week like this on our channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.